Hello everyone, Alberto here. I am a PhD student at the Chair of Communication Networks of the Technical University of Munich, and in this video I'm going to briefly introduce you my research topic. Let me start with a question. Do you know what these things are? If you think they are some kind of antennas because you have seen mobile networks in the title of this video, you'd be wrong. These are not antennas, but moonlight towers. And what are they used for? Well, for lighting up the streets at night, as the moon does. You know, these towers were actually quite popular in the late 19th century across the United States and Europe. The idea seemed rather promising. Imagine you live in this city. It is nice living there and all, but there is a problem. It gets dark at night. But don't worry, your 19th century mayor has decided to invest in moonlight towers. With just a few of these towers, the whole city can be lit up. But you may ask, if this is such a good idea, how come I don't see any moonlight tower in my city anymore? Well, it turns out that this is not that good of an idea. First, they consume a lot of power, because they have to be very bright. And second, they don't light up the city that well, as they create many shadowy areas. So, no surprise, they were eventually replaced by smaller and denser streetlights, which is what you can see in every city today. These require lower power and provide a more uniform light. Then, almost 100 years after this problem was solved, engineers had to face a similar problem. But this time, instead of light, they wanted to provide radio coverage for mobile communications. Since light and radio transmissions are essentially the same phenomenon, you might think that we should follow a similar strategy as the one I have just shown. But instead of using street lights, we use mobile base stations. So, let's see what a standard 3G or 4G mobile network looks like. Oh well, it seems that we are stuck in the same problem again. But how can this happen? Haven't we learned anything from the past? Well, it turns out that light and radio transmissions are indeed different. Adding more streetlights is always beneficial if what you want to do is to provide more light. But adding more base stations increases interference levels, which can be actually counterproductive. But we know that the small and dense deployments consume less power and provide better coverage. Is there something we can do to remove this interference? Well, there are many techniques to coordinate transmissions or cancel interference, but these are difficult to implement when each base station operates independently. If we could centralize the operation of every base station into a centralized unit, then they could coordinate efficiently and these techniques could be applied. The problem now is that this requires a very high capacity network connecting the centralized unit and the remote units, which is frequently not available. So what can we do? Let's try to be flexible. You know, mobile networks are highly variable. The position and the activity of the users are constantly changing. And it turns out that we can leverage this. First, we have to realize that the operation of a base station is not monolithic, but it can be split into multiple functions. Now, according to the traffic of each base station, we can centralize just some of this function so that we reduce interference as much as possible without compromising the network. And if users move, we adapt again. This idea of a flexible adaptation raises several important research questions. First, we have to devise a way to dynamically change the location of these functions without stopping the operation of the network. Then, we need to find out which is the optimal distribution of these functions. And it turns out that finding this optimal distribution is rather difficult. Also, we must decide when the network has changed enough so we can look for a new optimal state. And finally, we have to be aware of the cost of all these adaptations, so as to make sure that adaptations are actually worthwhile. If you are interested in knowing more details on how to answer these questions, please get in touch with me. I will be glad to share and discuss my findings with you. This is all from my side. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.